Hi guys! In this lesson, uh, we will focus on uh, how to redesign the active suspension system and how to create the elements of these things, um, such as the mass, uh, spring, and damping ratio of this system. Okay? And so, suspension. system design is our lesson <coughs> and so we use the standard uh, oleo system or structure in here and so we have a, a tire in here and so we need to suspend the whole the disturbance and the other factors related to the road characteristics should be rejected by using this mechanism and so which we call the suspension system okay and so the suspension mechanism has been widely used in many applications uh, such as car uh, aircraft and other mechanical designs especially in high precision system measurement okay and so the there are three elements in suspension system as we talk about the previous lesson and so the spring mass and damping ratio in which the each of them is utilized uh, in order to remove the negative effects of the system response okay and so these elements uh, must be represented by any mechanical design to provide the sufficient characteristic of those elements okay and so therefore uh, each of these elements is treated only by this perspective this our main goal to learn about how to create or establish these things okay <coughs> for the spring coefficients uh, three links mechanism is presented in here and so one two and three in the linkage part of uh, these things uh, as we call the spring coefficients okay and so the these links only have movements like the bogging or compression or bending stored by rotational and translational energy okay and so the as for damper equation or notation in here liquid dynamics is treated or uh, applied in order to establish a damping effect okay and so the the last one mass factor is calculated by the density and volume parameters of the proposed system approach okay and so we will start by creating uh, this uh, model in order to obtain the full picture of this suspension system design okay and so we have the three parameter in here <coughs> as we call we have these things and so we can transmit this picture into here and so we should uh, determine the mass spring and damping ratio of these things okay and so uh, firstly we have the mass parameter in here like this one there. the only moving objects or parts should be included the mass parameter okay and so um, this one um, this one um, this one and then the finally the piston movements or the this rod should be included in this study because uh, we have the internal disturbance parameter or internal mass parameter in here and so we can assign the whole these things as a mass parameter okay and in the second part we have the damping factor or damping ratio in here okay so we have a liquid system in here and a liquid system uh, applies or the performs the this damping coefficient against the velocity or movements of these rods okay and so the finally we have the spring coefficient factor in here and so this can be banded or this can be moved or compression uh, can be applied at this position because it's a rod but in the rotational notion because we, if we use or if we apply the F force at this direction and so the spring factor or the this rod can store the energy of this force value with the X dimension or the deflection dimension okay and so this can be considered by the spring coefficient of these things and then we should thread or we should found this whole system parameter 
in order to order to establish the mass spring or damping ratio of these things okay and so in our projects or in your projects the firstly you should determine the whole the mass spring and damping ratio of the system in our system we should utilize all we should treat the suspension system but you may have the different kind of system but the same procedure should be obtained or should be applied to this system okay and so in second place uh, we can copy off these things as an hat and so we should transmit or we should take this picture in here and so in the design system parameters in the design parameters we should create a free body diagrams okay which means it's, it's a useful method to obtain or to notate the whole the elements of these things mass spring and damping ratio okay and so we should draw the whole the system like this one is the linkage point in here we have two rods and so we have a link part in here as a spring coefficient uh, to transmit or to <coughs> link the whole these things and so we also have the this a uh, road parameter in here and so we have a tire model in here and so the we had the two body in here okay and so this can be represented by the uh, spring coefficient of these things and so we need to interest the whole and so <coughs> we need to create uh, this pattern of uh, diagram because uh, we should add the piston value okay and so we need to draw this piston as such as this mass value and so the static piston variable should be added in here and so this term should be implemented or should be linked to this tire model okay and so in the first place we should assign the whole the mass parameter we have a rod with the m1 mass m2 mass and this one is the m3 mass but the piston has also a mass value but is it's the static value okay it's static and so we need to remove this piston mass parameter in order to create a right coefficient or the right uh, dynamic equation of motion okay and so this is static and so the velocity is always a zero and then uh, there's no dynamics in here and then we should create a mass parameter in terms of so m1 m2 m3 uh, such as or the in other name the moving parts should be included to the mass parameter in our dynamic equation okay and so in the second place uh, we should uh, write it down as uh, we have the one k1 parameter and k2 parameter in here and so this is a rod but a uh, bending rod or the rotational rod and so we have the spring factor in here okay and so the finally we should write it down as the we have a liquid value in here and so if we push uh, this uh, button or the, this piston into the this direction the down direction and so the liquids flows through this uh, laminar flow, uh, flow area or the pipeline and so we have the damping effect at this time <coughs> okay these are real representation of these things and um, because we create a system design model and uh, design a 3d model and so if we design the whole these things and then we get the total time response characteristic of uh, these uh, variables such as the mass uh, spring and damping ratio of these things but in our study or in our system dynamics approach we say it about that the system dynamics that <coughs> the whole representable model in mathematics especially in analogy modeling we can 
transmit or we can write uh, this system in terms of the electrical analog one okay and so <coughs> we need to create a specific mechanical model representation in here and so we have a f value in here and it's due to the, the car uh, weight or the any active force variable uh, supplied by the actuator design but we should uh, write the f value in here and so we have the serial serial spring coefficients like this one and so the this force applies the on at the same time the through the spring factor and damping ratio and so we should write it uh, down as the this damping ratio like this one because the f at the same time f is applied to the spring factor and the capacitance or the damping ratio of these things okay and so we have the dynamic part of these things uh, such as the m value in here m equivalent and then we have a tire in here and so if we have a tire and so we need to give the kw value in order to represent the tire elasticity or the spring coefficients okay and so this is our main basic model but it can be translated into or it can be written or drawn into the like this one f m x and so we have the spring coefficient and we had the damping ratio in here and so we have also a tire spring coefficients in here but in our study we should include we should not include or we will not include the tire specific spring factor and so we need to create this pattern as a free body diagram and so we can obtain the whole this dynamic equation with respect to the x uh, direction can be obtainable at this time okay and so if we solve this free body diagram model or the analog model and then we can obtain the whole the characteristics of this suspension system system as well as the we can control the whole the system by supplying or the by using the proper actuator given to the force into this system okay and so in the next lesson we will talk about how do we select or how do we calculate the mass parameter in the system and then we should proceed with the in the next lesson or the, after this lesson the spring and damping ratio calculation okay